The hippies want you to believe the planet's heating up because of my wife's hairspray. Yeah, that's... Uh... Well, yes, I hear earlier on the phone. Yeah, don't at the leak. They're going a crazy down there, to be honest. I bet. How about a pack of cards? Just 39 cents. Yeah, sure. Okay. You know what? On the house. For you and the missus. Oh, thanks. It is uh, you and the missus, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, why is he asking questions? I feel like Hansie's going to get his hands, Hansie's on that book. Did I wake you? No, I'm... Where are you, sweetie? You're missing the seminar. I know, and I feel terrible, but we're kind of in a little trouble. I did have kind of a breakthrough, like a, a vision, you know? I can see things a whole lot more clear now. Maybe we could meet for a drink. You could fill me in and tell me about your vision. Oh, Peggy, you no. Know. You know, there's all this great material here as part of the course. Workbooks and the like. Maybe I should send them to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Real eye-opening stuff. Shit. Not sure how long we'll be here is a thing. Just, no, no, can, can you hold on to it for me? If it's not too much of a bother? It's no problem. You said you're close. I'll just, where are you? I'll jump in the car and... I don't know exactly where we are. I think southwest near Vermilion, the lake. It's a kind of cabin. Ever. No, you're sweet, but like I said, we're hiding out, so I'll just, I'll call you as soon as it's over, okay? I'll give you a call. Okay. Yeah, but... Okay, bye. I tried, you heard. He's looking at mm. us. Hmm? Make him stop. Stop looking at us. Where am I supposed to look? I don't care. <laughs> don't you do it. Hmm? Don't you do it. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> okay, if you give me one more go and I take more for an answer. Go get him, son. Operation Eagle's Nest that they were talking about in the uh, previous, the other episode. Brilliant, they've like put us in the film. Take that, you Nazi rat. <laughs> Come on, hurry. making any sense here oh Honestly, shit. i'm telling you i've got i've got your boss man and you well you know what sir uh i i might just call over to the other side see if they want thank you so much for your help bye bye oh, fuck but don't oh god uh, fargo please 
it's the Pro Hotel. Hi, uh, I'm looking for Sue Falls in the hangman in the background. I got it. I've got Dad Gerhardt in a trunk of my car. You want him? Sure. If I kiss you when we meet, would that be inappropriate? What? The question is, what do you want? Well, I got the old Gerhardt family after me, and I need you to make them stop. Well, then I think you and I can make a deal. Meet me in Sioux Falls tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. There's a motel off the interstate there. Uh, motor motel? 8 a.m.? Yeah, and no funny business either. You hear? Because I've killed people before. And I'm not afraid to do it again. Maybe you heard of me, the Butcher of Laverne? I have heard of you. And may I say, brother, I like your style. Um. This fellow comes in here two, three times, uses a phone outside. Redhead. Yeah. Heavy set, like you said. Uh, One time comes in and says uh, something like, uh, yeah, we're going crazy down there at the lake. See, this time you hear not much to do. At the lake. Yeah. Okay. Hello, please. Crazy man just came in my store. His face is on the front of the Clay County Post. We need all of your officers immediately. Thank you. Shit! I've just remembered. They've been plaguing me my whole life. What's the joke? Can't live with them. Can't turn them into cat food. All that talking and mood swings. Oh it's nothing but lack of rational thinking. Hey, can you get that fucking knife? Look at your kings of war. Napoleon, Kublai Khan. Can you get the knife? Say I want to tell you my own private belief here. I think Satan is a woman. Fuck you. Think about it. See? What did I tell you? No matter what you do to him, these goddamn twats just won't stop till you put them down. Yes! Oh! Oh! oh. Oh my god, I thought he was dead. I thought he was gone. She rides. Um, he's gonna see her. Um, oh god, he's gonna see Dog's car. And to all of the other male characters' names in the fucking series. Oh. <laughs> huh. Step away from him now. Oh, thank Christ. Just shoot him, you half breed. I'm hurt real bad here. Oh. I think he's getting a haircut. Oh. How do you get? Something professional. Oh. Shorter, like on the sides and back. 
Well, I mean, you got the bone structure. Jesus Christ, you mongrel. Just shoot these two okay. and get me to a goddamn hospital. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can I do it? Huh? Haircut. Can you do it? Look, we thank you. Shut up. For... Jesus, just Can you do, do it? it? Um, no funny tricks. No. I mean, you saved us. And we're grateful for that. Professional, you said. Yeah. Tired of this light. that that was the music from the beginning of episode six played at the end there is that oh my god i don't even know what to say what is there to say a terrible day for constance Hansie shot Dodd in the head. I think, I think there was one too many racial epithets and he was just like, fuck you. But then that makes me think, hang on a minute. Was Hansie after Dodd this whole time? Was this Hansie's mission? And I just completely didn't understand. We just wouldn't know because we didn't, we didn't, we haven't seen anyone. Oh, I'm going to have to watch this all again afterwards. And he killed Dodd. Dodd's dead! Can Dodd's dad, dog's dead? Shit! I didn't expect to get that until the finale. I assumed Dodd was with us. No. No. So who gave the order? Who gave the order? I'm going to have to put that in. Who gave you the order? Who gave you the order? It has to be Bear or Floyd. And we've seen Bear having that conversation with... with Hansi. Maybe that wasn't just one conversation. Maybe that was a process that they went through to actually tease him away from Dodd. And just be like, Dodd's a loose end. We just need to get rid of him. He's dragged us into a war. That could be it, because he made him lie. And then Otto was killed in the crossfire. And ultimately it was Otto that took him in and Floyd. 
So it should be Otto and Floyd that Hansi is like has his primary relationship with. Damn, I can't wait for that to be confirmed. But yeah, I thought Ed was fully dead in that. I really did think he, he's over when um, Dodd was hanging him. Then the moment I saw Penny was awake in the knife, I thought, yeah, we got, we're going to be okay. <sighs> that was such a tense scene though, like my heart rate. Oh. That was amazing. I honestly, I'm out of words. And like Solverson and Hank showing up right at the end. Brilliant. So they're there. Mike Milligan is on his way. The Gerhards are probably gonna come. Cause yeah, the Ger yeah the Gerhards are gonna come because Hansi's called. Oh my god that was fantastic absolutely amazing until the next time bye bye